Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to uh, the basic concepts related to electrical machines. So far, we're discussing about magnetic materials. We have covered diamagnetic materials. We have covered uh, paramagnetic materials. So in this video, we are going to discuss about ferromagnetic materials, which is very important from the point of view of electrical machines because it is this category which is used mostly in the design of electrical machines. So a quick recap, uh, the materials or objects of all types when placed uh, in a magnetic field, an external magnetic field, they affect the magnetic properties of that substance, that object. Either they get magnetized or not. That is they magnetize in the same direction or in the opposite direction. That is, they acquire attractive characteristics or repelling type characteristics. And this is all due to the movement of electrons in the orbits resulting in orbital magnetic dipole movements. Okay? And is because of this, the materials they can be classified into three categories diamagnetic paramagnetic and ferromagnetic now there is a lot of similarity between paramagnetic and ferromagnetic we can say that ferromagnetic is just the uh, we can say the magnified version of paramagnetic materials. So ferromagnetic is just paramagnetic in excess. All the properties of paramagnetic materials when they are enlarged, when uh, the value is increased, the magnitude is increased, it becomes ferromagnetic. So ferromagnetic is basically paramagnetic properties in excess or enhanced properties. So ferromagnetic materials they are those which, in, which when placed in external magnetic field are strongly magnetized in the direction of the applied external field. So now if you try to remember the definition of paramagnetic materials, it was that these are, they were those objects which when placed in an external magnetic field are weakly magnetized in the direction of the applied external field. So here the only word difference between these two definitions are weakly and strongly. Weakly in case of paramagnetic, strongly in case of ferromagnetic. Everything else is the same. That's why I said ferromagnetic is just the magnified version of paramagnetic materials. Example, iron, uh, nickel, cobalt. So these are, to name a few, examples of ferromagnetic materials. So, the ferromagnetic materials, they behave in the same way, that is when they are placed in an external field, they acquire attractive type characteristics, which means that the, the end facing the north pole of the external field acquires south pole and the end facing the south pole of the external field acquires north pole. That's why it, be, it, it acquires attractive type magnetic characteristics. So the magnetic behavior which is uh, induced uh, in the ferromagnetic material is very 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 strong. Okay, So the resultant field inside the ferromagnetic material is greater than the external field. In case of paramagnetic it was less. In case of ferromagnetic it is more. Again a magnified version of paramagnetic. And opposite to paramagnetic material, it is a very strong form of magnetism and it retains its characteristics even when the external field is removed. But in case of paramagnetic, it loses its magnetic behavior the second the external field is removed. Same the case for diamagnetic, but in the opposite direction. Diamagnetic materials also lose their magnetic repelling characteristics when the external field is removed but ferromagnetic materials they acquire their attractive magnetic characteristics and they retain it 
even when the external field is removed they retain it to a certain degree so what is the cause of behavior this kind of behavior in ferromagnetic materials so we all know that the magnetic behavior of all materials be it diamagnetic paramagnetic or ferromagnetic it is because of the magnetic dipole movements because of the revolving electrons which constitutes an current loop in each orbit and that produces the magnetic moment the orbital magnetic moment is given by this now in case of ferromagnetic materials a number of magnetic dipole movements they form groups okay they constitute together they form clusters they form groups and each such group is called as a domain like this so all of these magnetic dipole movements they combine together to form a net magnetic dipole movement a cluster magnetic dipole movement or group magnetic dipole movement which is called as domain but in the absence of external magnetic field these domains or groups of magnetic dipole movements they are randomly aligned okay in random directions here i've just uh, you know like this i have expressed but it can be in any direction the arrowhead can be in any direction they are not in one direction and these uh, big arrowheads are nothing but to represent group or cluster of ma many magnetic dipole movements this is in the absence of external field randomly aligned randomly directed but when they are placed in an external magnetic field these domains or clusters of magnetic dipole movements or group of magnetic dipole movements they align themselves in the direction of the external field they are directed in that direction and it is because of this property that ferromagnetic be, uh, materials they acquire attractive type magnetic characteristics but in a strong way okay in a strong way in case of paramagnetic the number of such magnetic dipole movements were was very less it was not as huge as the ferromagnetic case that's why because of this the less number of magnetic dipole movements paramagnetic type uh, attractive characteristics is very weak in nature but ferromagnetic type attractive behavior attractive magnetic characteristics is strong in nature because of the more number of magnetic dipole movements okay so it is because of this domains getting directed in the direction of the magnetic field and the more number of such cluster or grouping of magnetic dipole movements in one direction ferromagnetic type behavior is attractive in nature and it is very strong so friends here it is not electric field it is actually magnetic field by mistake i have written here electric field so please uh, i'm sorry for that i have made a mistake so please note that this is not electric field it is magnetic field uh, the direction of the magnetic field and the domains are aligned in that field okay so i apologize for the mistake it is magnetic field not electric field so some properties of ferromagnetic materials very similar to paramagnetic but just magnified everything every aspect is magnified ferromagnetic materials li like i said they show all the properties of paramagnetic materials but to a much greater degree magnified everything is magnified ferromagnetic object is strongly attracted by a magnet because of opposite nature of poles facing each other but here the attractive the attraction is very large okay because of again like i said the domain behavior then uh in case of ferromagnetic materials when it is placed in an external field more number of magnetic lines of force pass through the material but in case of paramagnetic the number of such magnetic lines of force was less so again magnified version of paramagnetic behavior when uh, uh, 
ferromagnetic material is placed in an external field a rod kind of or a bar of ferromagnetic material is placed in external field the longest axis it aligns itself in the direction of the magnetic field similar to paramagnetic but it does it quickly the difference between paramagnetic and ferromagnetic is that in case of paramagnetic material this position this alignment of position in the direction of the magnetic field it takes slowly because of the weak attractive nature weak attractive magnetic behavior in case of paramagnetic but in case of ferromagnetic this alignment happens very quickly the moment it is placed in the magnetic field it quickly aligns itself in case of paramagnetic this is very slow then uh, when it is placed in a non uniform magnetic field it moves slowly from weaker to uh, stronger parts of the magnetic field the paramagnetic thing but in case of ferromagnetic it moves quickly from weaker to stronger parts of the magnetic field because of the attractive case then the permeability of ferromagnetic material is very large much 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 greater than one in case of paramagnetic it was just greater than one just not much also the susceptibility has a large positive value for ferromagnetic material but for paramagnetic it was a small positive value just greater than uh, zero so like i said all the properties of ferromagnetic materials they are similar to paramagnetic materials but they are just magnified in every aspect more number of magnetic lines of force pass through the material then magnetic susceptibility has a high positive value magnetic permeability is much greater than one then it quickly aligns itself in the direction of the field whereas in paramagnetic it was just the lower version okay the smaller version this is the enhanced version of paramagnetism so we can say ferromagnetism is just a magnified form of paramagnetism okay enhanced uh, greater form of paramagnetism so here we have discussed about diamagnetic paramagnetic and ferromagnetic materials in separate videos this ferromagnetic material is very important because mostly these kind of materials are used in the design of electrical machines why it is done that will touch that aspect in a separate video uh, for now just the basic concepts related to ferromagnetic materials we have discussed so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much